Writing quadratics in vertex form requires you to complete the square. What you're going to do is you're going to take this positive 2 and push it to the side. And you're going to come up with a value right here that, that's going to help you factor a trinomial. Now when you factor this trinomial, what you're looking for is you're looking for two binomial answers. And what you're also looking for is that these two binomials match up exactly the same so that you can put them to a power of 2. So the way you do this is by completing the square, you take this middle term right here and you say, what's half of 6? Half of 6 is 3. The reason why we want half is because we want two equal parts. And then we're going to square it based off of this down here. So half of 6 is 3. Squaring 3 is 9. And what I've done is I've added 9 to this side of the equation. Now you must add 9 to this side of the equation. That's the property of equality. So this positive 9 stays here this whole time. Now you're going to factor this using the magic x. Now you can use scratch work and whatnot, but basically after you factor this, you're going to get an x plus 6, excuse me, an x plus 3, and an x plus 3. Then, as you can clearly see, since they're identical, you're going to have a power of 2. Last step is always get y by itself. So you're going to minus 9 to both sides of the equation. This x plus 3 stays exactly the way it is. 2 minus 9 makes negative 7. And this is how you write a quadratic in vertex form.